Well, what? That was the most ridiculous over with Kid Cochise Outdoors. But we did have a nice cameo of the United States Marine Corps up there, fishing on Kid Cochise, both of soldiers on the sound in 2016. A complete success, I'll have you uh, know. 150 active military went out on 63 boats with soldiers on the sound. It's a world record. And uh, I just want to take one second out and thank Mike over at l, &L Wholesale Bait and Bait Shore. Mike supplied all the soldiers with the bait. 63 boats full of bait. That's a lot of bait. I appreciate it, Mike, all right? So uh, what do you guys think about my new studio? All right. I think I'm in my studio. Oh, there it is. All right. I got my studio back. All right. I need to do a con shout out right now. Mr. Robbie goes over in the rock her waist, trolling 60 feet of water, picks up this young lady. She's a beast, 36 pounds, trolling spoons, rock her waist, 60 feet of water. Robbie Holes, killing it over there on the South Shore. Just a quick shout out. That's it. Nice fish. I right, don't. And also to Robbie, shake it ace. He likes to shake it ace for some reason. I. Right. Who doesn't? Alright, so what we did this episode is we're going to be going out. I know, you're digging my TV here. I got a lot of stuff yeah. going on my TV. This is all cutting edge. Yeah. Get cheese cheese outdoors. We're going to go out. Kenny and I went and did a little uh, bass fishing and we did some uh, bluefish fishing. So let's go through that right now. We started inside and uh, we're just bellying, clam bellying. I'll get into a little detail with the clam belly if you know what that means. If I, I mean, I'm just going to show you what it is. If you need to know what it means, how to do it, just let me know. All right, I'll put a video up at clam belly. It's pretty simple. But we started out clam belly, then we went outside for the turn of the tide, picked up some bluefish. More importantly, we're going to go to a scenario of clam belly that uh, we had to go to the board of ethics with. All right, so let's get to that now. All right, we're out there, Kenny and I are fishing, and. Uh, I make all shenanigans on the whole technique here. I think it's illegal in five states, and this being one of them, all right? You guys make the determination. I did call the, uh, you know, the IGFA standards and morals, hey. and uh, they didn't like it. They didn't like what they saw, all right? So you tell me what you think is a little uh, out of control. I felt a little victimized, but you tell me, all right? So here we go. Here comes the scenario. I'm trying not to play it back in my head. Normally, a person would just go on to you to get out of the way, you know, if the but this technique here can be, I think, I don't know. You guys make the determination. If you're going to take care, brush your hair. Push off. Push off. Want to get the net? Uh, I'll be quite yet more of it. Are you going to tap me? Yeah, I'm on top. Oh, no! I'm just talking to the trophies right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this thing is big. It's big, it's big, it's big. Oh. Oh. There she is. Striped bass. Bye bye. I think by now you guys are probably fascinated with what we're doing here. Let's show you what we got. Got this scary stuff right here. All right, folks, those right there are clam bellies. Not whole clams, they're clam bellies. You get them in two gallons or four gallon buckets. Again, l, l sells them wholesale or you can get them at your local tackle place. Just ask for clam bellies, all right? You're also gonna need a thing of clam chum and that will go right down here on the side of the boat. And that's always going to put a chump slick out to bring those fish into the slick, all right? Once you get them in the slick, you basically got them. You're using a probably a four to five foot liter of 50 pound fluoro for that to a six odd bait holder gamagatsu hook, fish finder rig. Boom, cast it out there. 
And what I'll, you'll see me do is I'll jig it a little bit to make that clam just kind of undulate. And then also I'll make sure that I have a straight line to that. Uh, there's no slack in my line. This way I can feel the fish if he stays right before it and picks it up. I can set the hook on him. Okay. So it's fairly simple. If you guys want me to do a video on uh, how to, I can do that. I'm just going out there showing you a couple of fish we're catching. All right. And have a couple of laughs. By the way, Kenny is an avid fisherman. I just bust his chops. All right. He did doing the salt too on my uh, camera though. Oh, boy. Oh boy, ladies, get the neck. I'm not sure how big it is. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. What's up? Got my king on the fish today. Come on, Jay. Oh, yeah, oh, he's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I see the fish is on the floor. I'm hoping that the camera still works. You, sir! <laughs> All I did was spin it, told you I didn't turn the bottle. Yeah, right. Okay. What? Oh, okay, the Rubik. Pull that fish up for the uh, people. You back in business? Good business. Why don't you release that for the ladies? I ain't done. I'm just not quite sure why he threw my camera. That's the only question on that fish. He got nervous and he threw my camera on the ground. I'm really worrying this. I hate the play, not the game. I hate the game, not the play. Yeah, something like that. Fuego, fuego. And that is the last time I filmed you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Film me. Can you film my boots? Got a picture of the sky. Looks like you gotta clean under your gun. <laughs> Nice. 
All right, folks, these are usually schooly bass. We get them with the hooks that so fast that we just hook the, the lip, and they're really easy to release. Mortality rate is almost close to zero. Fast and furious. Uh, they're green, when they come to the boat, we throw them back in the water green, so it's a cool catch and release type of fun stuff, all right? You will catch the occasional big fish in there, and that's what we try to do, but lots of these fish are small, schooly green fish that we release. Folks, I'm kidding, obviously, but when the fish are in really thick like they are, you can just throw with a dead stick, too, when fish three rods, four rods, however you want to do it, but sometimes they may cross. Key is when you cast that dead stick out, pick up all that slack so you can see the strike, all right? A lot of times they'll hook themselves up with those uh, gamagatsu hooks, or you're just going to pick it up like I just did and set the hook. The key is you have to set that hook like I do. You're pulling mono in current with weight. You gotta set that hook to be able to set the hook into its mouth. Alright, so don't be afraid to really set that hook. I really think you said set that hook way too many times in that sentence. You know you're right. I'd like to take back two of those set that hooks, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's what we're looking at right there. We're gonna get rid of them. Just one time. Hehehehe <laughs>